Hi everybody, welcome to Aga Math. This is Rakesh. Today's question: If cosecant a equals to, if cosecant a equals to root ten, find secant a and cot a. So just uh, in the before questions we have seen the ratio means like with the numerator and denominator. But in this question uh, you don't see what is the denominator. So it's very easy. So not to worry. when it is not thing given so let us take let us write this cosecant a so here i do cosecant a cosecant a equals to root 10 by 1 so it is under root 10 by 1 so let us so it is uh, let me take the name this triangle which is a right angle triangle so a and here the angle b i take and here i take c so right angle is at b i have taken so that root 10 by 1 so now let us what is the ratio of the cosecant a what is the cosecant a it is a reciprocal of sin a so sin a is what opposite by hypotenuse so here hypotenuse by opposite before you watch the video like our channel subscribe it and click on the bell icon for notifications so angle a is here so it's a hypotenuse is root 10 and its opposite is 1 so according to the pythagoras theorem uh, you, what is this, uh, what is the equation here it is bc square plus ba square is equals to ac square So what is BC square means? It is a one square plus BA square. BA square means no, we don't know. So BA square that is equals to AC square. It is a root ten whole square. So it's very clear. It means BA square is equals to root ten whole square is ten, and one square transfer this side is minus one. So it means B A equals to ten minus one is nothing that nine under root nine. So it is what three. So B A equals to three units. So B A equals to three units. So now here, so what is a second A? Fine. So second A here. So second A he is here. Here that is a. Uh, Second a, what is the second a means? It is a reciprocal of cos. So what is the ratio of a cos then? Adjacent by hypotenuse. So this is what hypotenuse by adjacent. So what is the hypotenuse here? Hypotenuse is root ten by it's a adjacent to angle a is a three. So it is root ten by three. And next thing we have to find another is what cot a. So that it is cot a. So what is a cot a here? Cot a is nothing that it is a reciprocal of tan. So what is a tan? Opposite by adjacent. That it means it is adjacent by opposite. So that is what is adjacent to this is three, and its uh, opposite is one. So it is nothing that three. So this is a uh, These are the ratios where we have to find that is secant a equals to root ten by three and the cot a equals to three units. So the ratio is a three by one. It's nothing that three. So here we have another question. If tan a equals to one, then find tan c. So let's take tan a in the ratio. So uh, tan a that is equal uh, sorry tan a equals to Tan a equals to one. It's nothing that I also call one by one. The ratio of a tan is one opposite by adjacent. So let us name this triangle now. So that is a b c. So this is a angle we have to take because tan a is given. That means its opposite is one and adjacent is one. So it is an isosceles triangle because two sides are equal. And obviously, if you use the Pythagoras theorem, we get that this is root two units. So what we have to find tan c. So what is the tan c then? Tan c is what? 
ratio of tan is what opposite by adjacent so what is what is the ratio of tan c tan c equals to opposite by adjacent that is opposite is uh, opposite to uh, angle c is 1 by its adjacent is also 1 so again tan c is also 1 so therefore tan c is equals to 1 thank you thank you for watching